This is the moment former Prime Minister Imran Khan was shot in the leg. Chaos broke out after the leader of Pakistan, Tehreek e Insaf Party, was attacked. May God protect Imran Khan. By the grace of God, we are okay. Some of our compatriots are wounded and one has been killed. Please keep us all in your prayers. Other party leaders were also wounded. Police arrested the gunman who's reportedly confessed to the attack. He said he wanted to stop Khan from, quote, misleading people. With some politicians demanding revenge, the party's leadership called for calm. We're all organizing shortly in each city in Pakistan that we find ourselves in as a mark of our protest. We do not intend to attack anyone. We do not intend to allow anyone to attack us either, but that's a story for later. Imran Khan was leading a slow-moving march to the capital Islamabad from the city of Lahore, about 350 kilometers to the south. The convoy hoped to force the government to give up power. Since losing the premiership through a no-confidence vote in April, Khan has insisted he will not stop campaigning until early elections are held. The attack is likely to further fuel political unrest. Some members of Imran Khan's own party have been uh, on the record uh, calling it a bloody march and uh, expressing the apprehension that the march could get bloody and could get uh, uh, you know, out of control. Imran Khan is out of danger and without providing any proof, his party's secretary general says Khan told him to name the alleged attackers. I have no doubt three people involved in this are PM Shabazz Sharif, Interior Minister Rana Sanaula and Major General Faisal. Our demand is all three be removed from their posts and if they're not removed, then there'll be countrywide protest. Protests have already broken out in several cities. The Prime Minister has called for an investigation and condemned the violence. All political leaders, including those who oppose Imran Khan, have reiterated the condemnation. But that's unlikely to bring down political temperature as Pakistan enters another phase of instability. Some... There's always a threat when you are challenging the status quo. There's always a threat. But that should not stop you from doing what is, uh, what I believe is, is a genuine freedom struggle. For me, for me, it is better to, uh, to die rather than to live a life of slaves under these, uh, this imported government of crooks. If I have to live under them, I'd prefer death rather than living un under these criminals. Al Jazeera's Kamal Haider was at the rally when uh, Imran Khan was shot. He joins us live now from Islamabad. And Kamal, you spoke to Imran Khan just a few, di few days ago when he made those uh, comments defiantly. And obviously we see now this has happened. Uh, his team are saying this is an assassination attempt. Just tell us, uh, just take us through what you witnessed when this attack happened today. Well, just to be clear, I was not with Imran Khan today when that attack took place. However, there are serious question marks as to how the lone wolf that, according to the government, that there was only one person involved, was able to make a confession within 15 minutes of that attack. And um, the uh, Imran Khan's party calling this scripted, choreographed. Uh, his uh, former interior minister, said that this was not just one man, that this was a decoy, that the fire came from an automatic assault rifle, and that there may have been more than one attacker. So these are preliminary investigations, but it has certainly raised eyebrows as to how somebody can be taken into custody, and within 15 minutes he's confessing, and then the video is released to television stations. So big question marks on that. Uh, his party, of course, believes that this was an attempt to assassinate him and uh, that the government was responsible. He's named the people, as you saw in Osama bin Jawed's report. This has sparked considerable anger across the country. There have been protests all over Pakistan. There's going to be more protests tomorrow. Imran Khan, of course, has told his supporters that they should not use violence, that they should remain peaceful. However, anger is... Uh, have fled. People are indeed uh, shocked and there is a reaction across the country. But there are serious question marks as to whether this was a lone wolf uh, attack or whether there were more attackers involved because as you can see in that video, the 
hail of automatic fire, suggesting that this may have been an assault rifle and that the man who now is saying that he was the one responsible may have been used as a decoy. Of course, we know that Pakistan has long been afflicted by instability, murders, uh, sectarian conflict, and uh, the country's politicians are not immune from that, Kamal, as, as you well know, from the time of uh, the first prime minister being assassinated in 1951. Seems as though Imran Khan's supporters are pointing the finger firmly at the current leader, Shabazz Sharif. Well, indeed, uh, and that is because of the fact that Imran had reiterated time and again that his marches have uh, women and children, the mood is festive, there is music, people come uh, from all walks of life, the poor, the middle class, the upper middle class, everybody comes to see Imran Khan because he's emerged as one of the most popular leaders in this country after his ouster in a word of no confidence. So indeed, uh, um, the suspicions that the PTI has is on the government. Uh, the government, on the other hand, has been saying that Imran Khan's march is not peaceful, that it endangers the security of the capital, Islamabad, where he is heading on this march. And his leaders, of course, are saying that they will continue with that march. The interior minister has requisitioned tens of thousands of policemen the uh, police inspector general even requesting live ammunition saying that Imran Khan party workers may be armed and they may attack the capital Islamabad, something that Imran Khan has denied. So that is indeed a serious issue because uh, a serious investigation needs to be done. And a senior lawyer and including that interior minister that I mentioned who was served under Imran Khan is convinced that this was not a lone wolf phenomena, that this was a conspiracy, a well-planned conspiracy to try to take Imran Khan out.